Stage three of the Ramadan Legacy Planner are about your goals and your da'as as well. This is a new section in the planner compared to previous planners because it gives you a specific section on setting your goals, your da'as for the month of Ramadan. It's a brief section which you frequently refer back to. Sometimes we set goals and then we completely forget what they are or we don't know where we've even stored them. So this section helps you to capture those goals, write down what they are, but also the da'as that you need to help you achieve those goals and also all the other da'as that you want to make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan and also beyond the month of Ramadan as well. I think there's so many times where there are so many da'as that we want to make or there's things that we've just forgotten to make da'a for because we simply haven't written them down. This section also has a few other things to help you such as your Qur'an plan. Some people like to finish the Qur'an, some people like to read a smaller sections but understand what the Qur'an is really trying to say. And there's also a Qur'an reading roadmap as well. And I guess Ramadan is not just about what you should do but also what you shouldn't be doing. And I guess Islam in general has this, you know, two-pronged practice where it's about what you need to do but also what you need to avoid at the same time. So we've got a good deeds tree so that you can map out all the good things you want to do in Ramadan but also a bad habits tracker so that you can avoid the bad habits which people have been telling you off for the past year or not to do. That's the section there um, which really helps you to define your goals, your da'as, your Quran, the good deeds and the bad deeds which you need to avoid before the month of Ramadan begins.